we did not, were we not live? Or did we lose it? I'm going to start over from the very beginning. Did any of it stream? No. Okay. Well, that's good. Then we're live. Are we officially live? Like for real this time? Yeah, so everybody just now tuning in. I just talked for about four minutes. Since seven. <laughs> I've been talking for the last four minutes thinking people were watching. So uh, that was a good warm up. Hello, everyone. Well, um, now you know what you're going to say. Welcome. Yeah, obviously now I know what I'm going to say. And it was good. Welcome to our second official uh, live stream. Are we still good? I don't feel like, I Joey's don't believe it. Joey, Joey, Joey's not. So many people, <laughs> thumbs up. We're here tonight uh, in an undisclosed location in Walker County, Texas, at our friends, the Powell Brothers uh, Estate, and we are very, very uh, fortunate to be in like a real venue. Yeah, this is fantastic. I did not expect this. They they opened their doors to us and said, if you guys want to come do your next live stream here, feel free. Uh, I'd like to thank my friend Marco with the Double Drop Ranch for uh, having us out last time. For all you people that tuned in last time, thank you. Uh, but we've had the pleasure of playing with the, the Powell brothers probably, I think, five or six times now. Yeah, at least. And it has been, it has been a really, really fun time. These guys are extremely talented, and uh, I can't say enough how thankful I am that they've opened the doors to us. So we're going to plug them real quick. We want to make sure I've got notes. Uh, if you check them out on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, it's at Brothers Powell, P-O-W-E-L-L. And, uh, man, I encourage you to go get their music. I mean, that's just the, that's the least we can all do. Uh, right. for letting us have this show here tonight. So for everybody that tuned in last time, we're going to do something similar. We cut out as many covers as we could. <laughs> Sorry, John Uh Yeah. We're still doing some. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to start from my, my album called Six Strings, One Dream, and we're going to work our way forward all the way up to our current album. We've got about two songs apiece. And uh, for those of you that are going to continue to tune in for our live streams, this is kind of the program we're going to do throughout the, other, the entire thing. I do have lyrics. And uh, I am subject to mess this completely up. So if I do, uh, just know that it's live. I hope that, uh, I hope that everybody's enjoying themselves when we do these things. I'm not really sure. I'm in my little bubble in New Waverly, Texas. And uh, I'm not really sure what the rest of the world is doing. I've kind of stopped watching the news and, and all that. So uh, I hope you're all doing fine. And, and the one thing I said last time that I'll make sure I reiterate tonight is turn the news off. Shut yourself off. Uh, my friend, uh, R- Randy Weaver, who's the pastor of Lone Star Cowboy Church, told me, he said, you know, I think this might be a good time for all of us to just slow down and reset. And that's like the first of 10 people I've heard say that. So uh, consider this us just getting to sit home on a Thursday night and hang out for a little while. So uh, yeah. this uh, the other night I was actually at the Double Drop Ranch. And uh, this song came on, and I completely forgot about it. This is the first time Jody and I have been playing together for 10 years, and this is the first time he and I have ever played this song together. Yeah, it's the only song on any of the albums that we've never played live together. <laughs> I don't Well, anyway, it's called uh, See in the Light. Here we go. I'm loud away. One too many nights with you And I've lied One too many times Trying to hide the truth Cause as many times As you broke me down You think I learned And as high as we've ever it's dang sure not worth the hurt And now I'm through being wrapped up in you There's too many days not seeing the sun Sitting alone in my room And I'm tired of what Times as we've tried, I once was addicted to you, baby. But now I'm seeing, I'm finally seeing the light. 
friends have turned away Some drew closer to me They've all got something to say Everything they think I need I guess if it wasn't for you I wouldn't know who'd still be here at the end Made me feel things I never felt But you showed me where I'll never wind up again And now I'm through being wrapped up in you There's too many days not seeing the sun Sitting alone in my room As we try, I once was addicted to you, baby, and now I'm seeing, I'm finally seeing the light. Cause you're up and you're down, there's no middle ground here anymore. Here tonight, deep inside, I know that I've never. If I don't lay you down and walk out the door Oh, and I'm tired of what you can't do for me As many times as we've tried So uh, what are, where are we at? We got how many people we got logged on at this point? I'm kind of curious. 13,000. 13, 13, That's awesome. That's a lot of people for New Waverly. <laughs> <laughs> Traffic Undisclosed light location. <laughs> I mean, Walker <laughs> County-ish. Let's see. Go ahead. What do we got? I can't see that. Mm -mm. I'm blind. If you have questions or comments, we've got a question and comment staff over here. <laughs> So this excited. next song that I'm going to play is dedicated to a special individual by the name of Dustin Noblet. Dustin Noblet is the uh, CEO of Hatco, and uh, which entails Resist All, which are great are great sponsors. And uh, also he's involved with Helomatic and Cactus Ropes, and he's a teetotal all around bad a. And uh, he's a good friend of mine, and he always makes fun of me for not playing this song. <laughs> He's told me over and over and over again I need to re-record it. So Dustin Noblet, I hope you're uh, tuning in. Actually, I hope you're not, just so I can tease you about it later. <laughs> <laughs> song's called Pretend. One, two, three. Like me telling you that the sun doesn't shine Every time that it rains And now the moon doesn't come out at night Till the sun comes back again And like me telling you that a cowboy That's ever rode across the plains Is about the same as me telling you that my heart's not filled with pain So maybe I should just pretend That you never told 
touched my hand And then maybe I wouldn't feel like There's no reason to live again And maybe I shouldn't have turned around And drove this car back across town Knowing I'm the one thing you don't want to see It would all make sense If I could pretend that you never loved me Like me telling you that the desert Hidden, covered in sand And the way I feel in my heart Be fed into God's plan Like me telling you that the star down in Texas Ain't standing alone And the four walls of this empty house Make me feel right at home So maybe I should just pretend that you never touched my hand And then maybe I wouldn't feel like There's no reason to live again But maybe I shouldn't have turned around And drove this car back across town Knowing I'm the one thing you don't want to see It would all make sense If I could pretend that you never loved me Like me telling you that I'm not the kind to ever make believe And when I opened my eyes this morning you were still there lying right next to me So maybe I should just pretend that you never touched my hand And then maybe I wouldn't feel like there's no reason to live again And maybe I shouldn't have turned around and drove this car back across town And going out one thing you don't want to see It would all make sense If I could pretend that you never loved me Say hi, Joey. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just kidding. Has uh, we got any questions or any attendance changes? And by the way, we are going to tune. We're in this nice studio, but we still have uh, snark tuners. Hello, Brandy. What? What, what other what? instrument do you, Are you play? A, is that a question? Question mark. I can't read. I think they're asking what other instrument no, do I you can't. play? Oh. What other instruments can you play? Oh, the the paper was folded in. Sorry. You got me. I was like, <laughs> You're what doing a good p-? job, babe. Uh, I started off playing drums. That was my kind of my first instrument. I think that it's important to learn rhythm first, uh, and my dad did too. So then I wound up playing uh, really bass chords, just learning how to shuffle, learning the one. Jody was actually a bass player when I met him. Yep. <clears throat> you took up fiddle to get this gig, actually, right? I took up fiddle to get girls, and shortly after I got this gig. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, t- you, took <laughs> you took up fiddle to get girls, and you got me, baby. <laughs> I mean. Uh, I play guitar. I, I I mess around with piano, but I really don't know what I'm playing. He's a really good piano player. He plays way cooler chords on piano than I do, and I do know what I'm playing. (laughs) Thank you for muting that. All right, we're good. 
You got the gut string? All right, it's a song about Huntsville. Uh, this is a true story. All the names have been changed to protect the guilty. Once I had me a woman, everything was going my way. She thought I had on a moon, she had an angel's face. To one night I pulled in my drive, and something was going on. It was a long bed forward in my spot that I damn sure didn't know. I walked in the front door, and I heard an awful noise. I moved on to the living room and there sat my two boys And I said, where's mama? And they both pointed to the bedroom down the hall And I ain't never been a fighting man, but red was all I saw See, brother, now I'm in down and I'm in out And I know how it feels to stand up for what you think is right And get knocked off your heels and if murdering a man who didn't understand is what she meant to me Means I'll rock here in this cell for eternity Well, in Mr. Rollins, guilty as can be Well, I wish I had me a picture of what his face looked like When I kicked in my bedroom door and raised my 45 I said I ain't the kind of hurt a woman And I hope you understand but Somebody's got to die today But son, it looks like you're the man See, brother, now I've been down And I've been out And I know how it feels To stand up for what you think is right And get knocked off your heels And if murdering a man who didn't understand Is what she meant to me Means I'm not here in this cell for eternity. Well, in this I'm as guilty as can be. That's what I told that jury. That's what I told that judge. I knew they'd be here to pay if I fulfilled my grudge See, I don't mind these prison bars tucked off in these pine trees There's one thing about that cheating woman, she won't cheat again on me See, brother, now I've been down and I've been out And I know how it feels to stand up for what you think is right And get knocked off your heels And if murder in a man who didn't understand is what she meant to me Means I'll rock here in this cell for eternity Well, in this I'm as guilty as can be I said he murdered a man who didn't understand is what she meant to me Means I'll rock here in this cell for eternity Well, in this I'm as guilty as can be So uh, do we have any interesting questions? I'm always curious. There's somebody out there mad right there. They're like, my question was plenty interesting. <laughs> we have a question board here tonight. For everybody that might be watching from the government, we're still under 10 people. <laughs> hey, all nine people, make some noise. Yeah. Woo! Woo! It's directional mics. It sounds like there's tons of people. Yeah, in it's here. totally that. There's actually a crowd response button on the board over there. <laughs> We should do that like the laugh tracks, but like crowd tracks after every performance. <laughs> Jody, you know how I feel about tracks. Up to 15,000. I'm not sure anybody's ever 
played for 15,000 people in New Waverly before. I promise they haven't. <laughs> um, what's the question? Favorite song I've ever written? Uh, Dear Rodeo. That's pretty. And uh, it's in the set tonight. We got cut off. By the way, we're going to try to keep this thing rolling because apparently Facebook Live tends to cut off around two hours. And last time me and Jody got carried got away. Got a little long-winded. Got a little long-winded. It happens. Uh, this next song I'm going to play you, I was very, very uh, proud to have written with Trent Willman. Trent is uh, my big brother in a lot of ways. He taught me a lot about songwriting, most everything I know about the music business besides my manager, Howie. Um, and we were sitting up one night, and we were just talking about religion and politics and all the stuff that, let's face it, a lot of you out there are too afraid to talk about with some of your friends. Uh, and we were just being real with each other. And what happened was I said, I said to him, I said, I feel like I was born the wrong time. I said, I feel like I'd have been born in a completely different day, you know, and I would have survived. And he goes, man, I wished I'd have been born in a different day. And that's how this thing came out. Two, three. Wish I'd been born in a different day Cowboys like old Gusman Cray Cause I just settled up and right away I wish I'd been born in a different day
Mr. Jody Bartua, ladies and gentlemen. I have a feeling during uh, this live stream, I'm going to have to step next door to the restroom. So be prepared to tell a joke. I've got, I've got great Joey, jokes. you got any jokes? Joey does not have appropriate Anything jokes. you're willing to talk about in front of 15,000 people? <laughs> How's your garden coming? I have seedlings going. My wife has done a very good job of making sure it's watered. And today in Walker County, Texas, America, God made sure it was, it was watered. <laughs> Plenty watered. Good on the gut string? Yeah. Right, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Hear that snow girlfriend Saw her when she walked in Well her hair's a little longer But she's still looking stronger than sin No, I don't care if you buy her a drink But she's not the kind of girl you think Oh Cowboys or something now they ain't Cause she's over buckles She's over spurs to her Just a heartache in a pearl stamp shirt Been last old and let go for the last time She ain't just over me She's over me and my You're standing in my dust Oh, cause lady She's been hating rodeos In Copenhagen Jody Bart to his truck Cause she's over buckles She's over spurs To her Just a heartache in a pearl Slam shirt Then last old and let go For the last time No, she ain't just over me She's over me Would anybody like to come promote the next Pal Brothers uh, live stream for just a second while I actually go take a Taylor live stream? Pal, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm going to take a restroom break for just a second. We're going to promote the Pal Brothers a little bit. You talk about your live stream. I'll go do my live stream. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? I'm Taylor Pal with the Pal Brothers. Here's Blake coming up next to me. So we are doing a bi-weekly uh, stream called uh, Five at Five. Monday and Thursday at 5 o'clock, we sing songs, and we have a good time. And y'all should come party with us. We did one earlier tonight. We sure did. It was acoustic, super cool, felt great. And uh, yeah, it's a good time. So Yeah, hope y'all are having a good time. Yeah. We might sing a song, is that cool? Can we? Ah, here's good. There he is. Well, again, I'm Taylor. I'm Blake. With the Powell Brothers. Thank you for uh, letting us just come and say hello. Oh, I was about to, but dude, this, is, this is your party, man. It's your party. Go ahead. Oh, man, that wouldn't go well. <laughs> There's a song called uh, Coming Home. Well, it's good to see you 
haven't changed The way the trees all wave hello Welcome home on the water tower Tells me there's just one more hour to go On the roof above the grocery store We could see the world from where we stood Well, we thought we could be anything Or maybe just a 17 for good I don't know how long I've been driving No idea how fast I'm flying I got you on my mind And I'm coming home In the middle of the daily grind I've been losing track of time for years, yeah Ooh. Scenery is slurring past Blurring way too fast to see you clear Well, it was until I walked away Realized the home I made was gone, yeah now I'm coming back again It's something like a friend that I belong Ooh. I don't know how long I've been driving No idea how fast I'm flying Got you on my mind And I'm coming home I don't like who I've been Take me in, take me back I don't know who I am without you I don't know how long I've been driving No idea, idea how fast I've been flying I got you, I don't mind Don't care how fast I'm flying I got you on my mind And I'm coming home, yeah I'm coming home I got you on my mind Thank y'all, everyone, Cody Johnson. I've been watching the comments. I washed my hands. And to make sure this microphone is sanitized, we're going to sanitize it. Mm -hmm. I love that we're so in the country that even inside I got flies flying around in my drink. It's, good day. it's <laughs> yeah. a good day out here. Right. This song goes out to uh, my production manager, Clint Rory. Somewhere in Texas, this man's about to cry. <laughs> we love you, Clint. Ready? One, two, three. There's a picture frame hanging at the end of the hall Pile of dust on the floor where my fist hit the drywall That's my ammo, even something broke everywhere I go home There's a rusty old truck door sitting in a field That I filled full of buckshot every time I got 
matter something or nothing didn't matter at all holes in my life down in my bones from my heart to my soul here's a long space on a big brass bed where we first made love and she laid her head on my shoulder for I told her it was over oh, there's a million conversations with my old man about who he was who I am that I never had I just wouldn't listen I just kept Reaching for a Kleenex, buddy. What's on your playlist right now? Right. Y'all, my playlist has stayed the same for like a lot of years. Like Waylon Jennings Live in 76 stays on my playlist pretty good. Like uh, Merle Haggard Essentials, uh, the Merle Haggard Prison album. Uh, Honestly, everything I listen to is so old. Like it's the like Merle Haggard Kern River album, yeah, the Merle like, Haggard Live in Austin. A lot Austin of Haggard, a lot of Jones, uh, a lot of Waylon, a lot of Willie. Uh, I should have mentioned a while ago before we played Holes that I wrote that with. Uh, I'm going to offend a lot of people right now, but I wrote that with my favorite songwriter of all time, uh, Jeffrey Steele. If you've never listened to Jeffrey Steele. Go check out Jeffrey Steele. He's written every first good all, song you've ever heard first of. First of all, you've listened to Jeffrey Steele. Yeah, you just don't know that you've listened to Jeffrey yeah. Steele. Um, and whenever I first met my friend Scott Gunner, who has been about as influential on me as anybody songwriting-wise, uh, I said, he said, who do you want to write with? And I was like, man, I want to write with Jeffrey Steele. And he actually hooked it up. And uh, we wrote Holes together, and it was an incredible experience. In the same regard, uh, Mr. Terry McBride uh, you don't know that you've heard Mr. Terry McBride also, but when you start looking it up, uh, you're going to realize how much Terry McBride music you know. We sat down one day. It was the first time we'd ever met. I drove from Trent Wilman's house uh, in Tennessee. I drove, uh, borrowed Trent's daughter, Tana. Thank you, Tana, for letting me borrow your car. Borrowed her car and drove over to, to uh, Terry's writing house, and we started sitting down and talking about what we wanted to write. And I said... I wrote a horse named Whiskey I thought I could trust. It's a true story. Shout-outs to you, Michael Fortenberry. 
I rode a horse named Whiskey I thought I could trust till she pinned her ears back and just like a whip crack, she left me in the dust. And then he said, I was cruising on my Harley enjoying the breeze and I got hit head on and thrown. Lord knows it should have killed me. And I said, what are we writing? Like, what are we talking about? And he said, we're talking about scars. And so uh, this song is a called Every Scar Has a Story. This is called Tuning. <laughs> When Jody first joined the band, he told me, he said, I tune once a week whether I need to or not, and it always scared me because I never knew if he was serious or not. I was so serious. That was the bad part. Joey's in the background. Yeah, it was, it was. Ready? One, two, three. Rode a horse named Whiskey I thought I could trust Till she pinned her ears back And just like a wheel crack She left me in the dust I was cruising on my heart Enjoying the breeze I got it head on and thrown Lord knows it sure have killed me Every scar has a story and it leaves a smart Cause you can stay on a king Taking things way too far And I thought I knew pain Ain't nothing I ain't been through But when I met you Girl, I fell hard Every scar has a story Just ask my heart I remember that morning I saw your face Turning down a side street Something inside me said Don't let her get away And those nights that follow They still haunt me They were some of the best I'll never forget How good it used to be Every scar has a story Yes, you say I'm a king of taking things way too far I thought I knew pain ain't nothing I ain't been through But when I met you, girl, I fell hard Every scar has a story, just ask my heart They still lose till the time Scar has a story and it leaves its mark. Guess you could say I'm a king of taking things way too far. Almost at an hour. Uh, we got a little ways to go. I want to make sure this thing doesn't cut off. So I think I might All right. jump ahead a little bit. Yeah. If anything, we can come back to it. Uh, yeah, so we figured out last time uh, that Facebook Live pretty much cuts off at like an hour 45, an hour 50, somewhere in there. Mm. Uh, and I would like to say not only, I feel like that we, we all understand that all of our hospital workers, our doctors, our nurses, our EMTs, paramedics, everything, they are working double overtime right now. Under, I appreciate them enough. Yeah, I think say we, 
they're working really hard under some really extreme circumstances, and we'd like to say thanks, but, you know, like even driving over here, all we passed was a police officer's car. So that's it. Yeah. Uh, all of our firefighters, our mailmen, everybody who's essential, <laughs> not like us musicians, <laughs> we'd like to thank you guys. But I thought the coolest thing about this is uh, all the musicians and all the artists that have chosen to just come back to the camera and play, uh, there's no money involved in this. And I, and I think for me, just personally, just leveling with everybody. Uh, I've been very, very thankful and all the glory to God that I've been able to provide my family with a living doing something I love. But it sure is nice to get back to why you love it. Like we're, we're sitting here just playing for essentially we would be doing this in our living room. And that's the way this started. For me, it was on a tailgate after a rodeo going and playing music and or at church just playing just to play because I had music. I mean, I know you grew up playing in church and yeah, bands. Church. But, I mean, it's really cool to see all this stuff. I mean, to have you guys tune in, it's a... Uh, it's really cool. Like, we're not trying to promote an angle here. This is just because I have this so much music built up inside of me. We have to play, and I'm really appreciative of all you guys tuning in. Um, it's really cool that we get to kind of go back to, because Cody and I did a lot of this when I first got in the band 10 years ago. A lot of, hey, man, let's go play this Monday show so all of our paychecks will cash. Well, right. And, and we would and just also, go do this. a lot of, like, it's really what's cool. going on tonight of, hey, man, have you played this song? No, but go ahead. Yeah, send it. Well, half the stuff we haven't played in a really long time. Oh, yeah. uh, so essentially, we want to say thank you. Thank you for fueling mine and Jody's addiction that we've, <laughs> we've had for the last 10 years. Yeah, I see Marcy it. B. We got some questions. When was the turning point when music was what you wanted to do? Um, you answer that. What, what was the turning one. point? There's a, there's a video of me at like four, maybe five years old, and I'm holding like a pink blow-up guitar singing it's like a home video my grandparents have i'm holding a pink blow up guitar and i'm singing achy breaky heart just as loud oh, of course you were as loud it was 1994 bro <laughs> like, what else would you be singing and yeah like i just i don't ever remember not wanting wanting to do this just all the time like this is just man for me i, I don't know like i turn so I've always played music with my parents when I was young. Uh, we played in church. We, they taught me everything you know about my ear and how to hear music. Um, whenever I, I was in high school, my ag teacher, <coughs> Larry, <coughs> Larry Fortenberry, and Miss Ecord, I feel like you get left out. Uh, Larry Fortenberry said, you're going to play for the FFA talent team, and I want you to do this. And he pushed me not only to be a cowboy. He, pushed, he always pushed me to ride bulls and rope and, and to try to do something in rodeo. But he said, you were born to play country music. You don't know it yet, son. But, but he, he did, and so did my English teacher, Dorothy Kennedy. Uh, they all pushed me. And, and I did the, you know, the FFA talent team, mm -hmm. and it was, it was an eye-opener. I got to play in front of the biggest crowds I'd ever played in front of. And I started a band uh, with... Nathan Reedy and my dad, it was just a three-piece, and it went, it went pretty far. I mean, <laughs> we did pretty well. Yeah. But I think, it, I think my turning point was whenever I was working at the, uh, at the wind unit, and my, my, one of my wardens, Warden Pierce, was the one that was saying, you need to go do this. You can always come back to this job. You can always go back to different jobs, but you're going to grow up, and you're going to look back someday, and you're going to wonder, what would have happened if I'd have chased my dream of country music? And at the same time, I had my wife, Brandy, who's been the most important factor in my life that said, I believe in you, you should go do this. At the same time that my manager, Howie, who's one of my best friends, said, you should go do this. So uh, uh, I think it all happened around 2008, 2009, something like that. Somewhere around there, yeah. Uh, we're down to the point in the set where I just want to play three covers. And tonight we're going to do a theme of just stuff I want to sing. This is not, uh, I could do like a Haggard Jones theme. Last time I think we took like a, my favorites theme. Uh, this is just stuff I, I like singing just because. As my because friend, they're really good songs. As my friend Pastor really Randy would say, he says, Cody, you need to buy a cow because you like to milk everything. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I don't have a... Uh, here, I'll hand it to you. Yeah. By the time I 
get to Phoenix She'll be rising She'll find the note I left hanging On her door And she'll laugh when she reads the poem Says I'm leaving Cause I left that girl so many times before. By the time I make Albuquerque, she'll be. Probably stop off at lunch and give me a call. We still just hear that phone keep on By the time I make Oklahoma, she'll be sleeping. She'll turn softly, call my name out part about being off the road for me uh, is not being at home. Like, I've heard that, like, man, we're stuck at the house. Like, I've had I've, so much to do. I've, I've had been, so much to do on my property for, like, the last 10 years. <laughs> I've, I've had honey twos piling up for, like, five years, however long I've been married. Yeah, I I've promise you there's a husband out there thinking about his honey dues right now. The worst part about not being on the road is not playing consistently. And, like, for anybody that works out consistently or anything like that, it's like, when you move a muscle, man, it feels good. But, like, when you don't, yeah, it's, I feel a little rusty. I hope this sounds good. If you're having fun, let us know, because that's honestly, that's what we're doing this for. we got another question. Let's see. Uh, what was it like playing the Houston Rodeo for the first time? Scary. I, but honest, only for like the first 10 minutes. I don't feel like I had time to think about it. We only had three days well, notice. you were really busy that day. I did sound check and then hung out. <laughs> <laughs> we only had three days to prepare, so... We did. I don't think there was a, honestly, when I took the stage that night, it was 2017, and I felt like I had Gus McCray in my head saying, well, Woodrow, I guess we're about to find out whether we was meant to be cowboys or not. I was like, either you can or you can't, you know. Um, this next song I'm going to play you guys is, if anybody's ever heard of the band Rival Sons, uh, my only hope is that anyone from the Rival Sons band is going to see this. It's my favorite rock band. It's what I work out to. It's uh, what I play in my truck. Honestly, lately, I've played it more than, more than Haggard. I've played it more than Haggard. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, check out the Rival Sons. And I, I have no vested interest in this. This is just 
what I listened to. And this song was so cool the first time I heard it. Uh, I don't know that it's something I could ever record, but oh well, we're doing covers right now. So I've got a cover coming up that I'm a little bit nervous about, so I'm trying to postpone it. Well, drink more, I guess. Drink more water? <laughs> All right. Same thing, right? She said since we've been together I've tried not to keep secrets well, I was so lost then I try not to talk about it See I needed money Cause the habit wasn't cheap I gave them my body And now my memory won't let me sleep Now I lay down beside you Feel like I don't deserve you and that's when you remind me She said, how could you love me When you know where I've been and how could you love me How could you love me when you know where I've been? He said, when I came home, I tried to put myself back together. Still gone went on And all my brothers are still in danger Now I am a soldier That tradition runs deep I gave them my I don't deserve you And that's when you remind me He said, how could you love me When you know where I've been How could you love me
Sun song. I hope I didn't screw that up too bad. We're at the one hour mark. I think we were at the one hour mark a little bit longer ago. I We've got uh, we got three songs Sorry left for you that. guys. Hope you've had fun tonight. And I'm going to pray, pray, pray to the good Lord in heaven I don't mess this next one up. <laughs> it's, got, it's got all the chords in it. All of them. It's got more chords than Desperado in it. <laughs> hey, but you didn't need any of those last lyrics, so take pride in that. Yeah, like. We skipped a bunch of those lyrics. Uh, once again, that's at Brothers Powell, P-O-W-E-L-L. If you guys want to check out the Powell brothers who were uh, very gracious to play us a song earlier while I had to go do my live stream. Blake, Taylor, thank you all for having us. This yeah, is thank you guys very much. Too cool. What is your go-to song when you pick up a guitar? Uh, I'm going to live forever. First concert I ever went to was Billy Joe Shaver. <laughs> Walked in shenanigans. Billy Joe Shaver said, if you don't like Jesus, you can go straight to hell. And I thought, man, I might be in the right spot. <laughs> <laughs> Like-minded individuals. All right. I'm playing that because I don't know this song. This is the, so the first time I've ever... So Jody and I learned this song together today. On today. the way. <laughs> On like, the way here. I promise you half this crowd, uh, too many Coronas, no pun intended, uh, you've sang this karaoke. At least half. Let's say, let's say hello to that. I've always wanted to yell this title. The You're top about of my to. Own. You're about to. Listen, for all you musicians out there that might be watching, if I mess this up, this is Facebook Live. Like, Don't act like you paid... 50 bucks to come see this where I got to have it on set list. Because, listen, I'm subject to mess this up. Like, <laughs> Me too, dude. Y'all have no idea. Like, if I pull this off, so I very well told Jody coming into this, I was like, dude, if we pull off Shameless, if we pull off Shameless, I'm going to act like, man, ain't no big deal. I've been playing that song my whole life, you know? No, that's not the case. Like, I'm scared to death right now. <laughs> you only learned it today. This got all the chords. Let's get a try, though. You got it. You got it. And don't be mad because I'm looking down the whole time because this is a wordy song. Billy Joel. Mr. Joel, you put a lot of words in your songs and a lot more chords and than words. And a lot of chords. All right, here we go. I'm shameless when it comes to loving you. I'll do anything you want me to I'll do anything at all And I'm standing Here for all the world to see All the baby that's what left of me Don't have very far You know I'm not a man who's ever been Insecure about the world I've been living in I don't break it but I have my pride But if you need to be satisfied I'm ashamed Honey, I don't have a prayer Every time I see you standing there I go down upon my knees And I'm changing Swore I never compromise Oh, but you can miss me otherwise I'll do anything, please You see, in all my life I've never found What I couldn't resist What I couldn't turn down I could walk away from anyone I ever knew But I can't walk away from you I haven't never let anything Have this much control of me I work too hard to call my Perfectly, but 
was your wrong now Can't refuse I've never had so much to lose Well, I'm staying there Oh, I'm staying there Anything I ever missed I've never been in love like this It's out of my hands I'm a strangler Don't know how to power now Oh baby, I don't want it anyhow So I just gotta let you know Trisha yeah. part. Trisha, you're not going to have it. Somewhere, if my buddy Derek calls, he's watching. He, he tends to, to sing uh, strawberry wine and things like that when he gets a little bit overserved. I bet he was out there singing, the, yeah. All right. We got another question? Sorry. What was, a good, what was a good lesson I learned from working in the prison? Don't go to prison. <laughs> Rule number one. When about they that. turn on the lights, pull over. <laughs> yeah, rule number one about that is don't run from the. If it rhymes with F, kids, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> that one took me. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. I think uh, to answer that question on a real note is social awareness. Just social awareness. This guitar, which I'm probably about to cuss. It's probably one of my favorite instruments I've ever played. We're at 18,000? Awesome. Lord Almighty, Dwayne. So this guitar's name is Dwayne. It was made by Dwayne Waterman, uh, who originally was from Colorado Springs with his guitar shop. He now has a guitar shop in... Uh, Arizona? Yeah, in Arizona, and it's uh, called uh, Sonora Guitars. Uh, this was a very, very expensive, very high-end uh, gut string, like, made-to-play-this-way flamenco guitar yeah. for people Classical. that actually know how to play the guitar, not like me. Uh, it was like a $10,000 guitar when it started. Somebody bought it, dropped it, cracked it right down the back, and it sat at my favorite little guitar shop, Wildwood Guitars, for like 30 years. And uh, it didn't have this hole. It when took I, you like nine months to make that. It wasn't very long. Like it wasn't. But it this, wasn't 50 this, this years. guitar's first gig was uh, Fox and Friends Live in New York. It was, and, and it was, was bought for this song. And that was the first time we ever played this. Song. Yeah. No <laughs> thanks, pressure. Thanks, Live Howie. television. Yeah. Thanks, Howie. Uh, Tony Lane and Brett James wrote this song. It's off our. We've made it up to the point chronologically uh, to our current album. Ain't nothing to it. And uh, Tony Lane, I think, is right behind for me, and he's he's gonna be mad at me, but. He's right up there with Jeffrey Steele as far as my favorite writers of all time. And uh, I was very, very happy to record this. Uh, went platinum. <laughs> yeah, I never thought that was going to happen. Yeah, yeah, I'll agree to that. I, I didn't think this was going to go to platinum. So uh, I thought maybe aluminum, you know, copper. copper. <laughs> <laughs> you played the same honky talks I did growing up. But that's all thanks to uh, all the years of hard work and partnering with Warner Music Nashville. Called On My Way To You. Hold on. Can you show them what, 
we did the first time we played this when I forgot the first word? The first words of this song. Look, he, he look looks everybody watch Jody. He looks, at me, he looks me dead in the eye as he's walking toward his microphone. He's three steps away from walking up to a microphone on national television. He looks at me and goes, I have no idea what the words are. And I looked him dead in the eye and went, all the boats I've missed. <laughs> I just started paddling toward him. He, he almost didn't make it through the first line. He was giggling it's so hard. hard. <laughs> it's hard to play that. I figure since we're, being, uh, we're sharing things tonight. Anyway. All the boats I've missed. <laughs> All the boats I miss, all the hell I've caused, all the lips I've kissed, all the love I lost, I got kicked around. I've been back and blue on my way to you. All the stars I've seen All the songs I've sung All the beers I've drank All the damage done I was just passing time Kind of just passing through On my way to you Every curve, every dish Every turn Left behind me up in smoke Every fork in the road It was all worth a while And I finally saw you smile Every highway, every heartbreak Every mountain, every mile Got the radio up The sun is going down I'll take a left at the bank And I'll head straight through town So baby, put on that dress A little sweet perfume Cause I'm on my way to to thank every radio station that played that. That was, uh, that was something that when I signed my merger with Warner, and when I say merger, it was not a regular deal. Uh, all of you guys, all of y'all out there that streamed our music and downloaded our music for you know over a decade, it really paid off because we got, honestly, we got the kind of deal that you can't only, guy, <laughs> only guys way, way bigger than me get. And uh, We've been very thankful for it. But the coolest part about, the, I guess, the affirmation and the confirmation for me was, like, whenever they came and said, what are you thinking for the next single? And I thought I was going to check their temperature. I was like, well, what are you thinking? Whoa. And they were like, well, we're thinking on my way to you. And I went, like, the countryest dadgum thing on the record. All right. Um, 
myself and Warner Music Nashville and Chris Lacey, uh, Espo, this, I can't, I can't say this enough. You guys took a stand for country music, uh, and used me and my band to do it. And I appreciate you on that song. Uh, the last song I'm going to play you, we got lots of time. Mm, we'll see. <laughs> we didn't get to play this last time. Uh, we thought we had lots of time last time, Joey. We were at the Double Drop Ranch last time, and we just got through with uh, Nothing On You and got cut off. So tonight I'd like to do you uh, my favorite song that I've ever written, Dear Rodeo. Uh, myself and a... Me and Mr. Dan Couch wrote this song, and uh, it's Dan. Dan's a pretty incredible guy. We've written songs like "I Ain't Going Nowhere, Baby" and "Kiss Goodbye," and "If You Give a Cowboy a Kiss" and "Proud." And uh, he and I and Trent wrote uh, "Bottle It Up." There's been a lot. We've written a lot together, and he's really shaped my identity as a songwriter. He's really shaped my identity as an artist because of uh, man. He's one of those guys that says, "Man, I can't sing real good and I can't play the guitar real good," but when he does, like. But you he's under- got some swagger, you know. Like yeah, when he, you have it's, to. When he does it, it's really cool. And, and you it, want that in your song. It does. It, it puts it in the song. We sat there and we talked about uh, this song stemmed. And if anybody's ever been to one of my shows, I'd like to think we have a lot of new fans out there. By the way, listen, before I play this last song, you can go back. We have five or six albums, independent. Six, six independent albums you can go back and download that uh, you might not know about. And... Uh, We'd appreciate you going back and listening to it because a lot of the times you don't know whether you're going to hear some of these songs at our shows. But uh, when Dan and I sat down to write this song, my buddy Scott Gunner, who's done my publishing for years, said, you should write a song about not riding bulls. And my exact words were, nobody wants to hear a song about not rodeoing. I remember this trip. Yeah. I I remember the conversation. I was sitting there for it. But (laughs) it was the only song that I've ever written in my entire life in like, 35 to 45 minutes. Like I, I went done. to sound check, came back, and y'all had the song done. You went, hey, man, check out this killer well, song. The thing was, as I told Dan, uh, when I quit rodeo and it was like a divorce, and, and like you know, I still rope a lot. I still ride cutting horses a lot. Like you're not ever going to take that. But that what that was, that dream of thinking that that's what I was supposed to do. You know, I've sure. got, I got friends like Cody Webster, who uh, is one of the best bullfighters there's ever been. He's got accolades just this long, and that's what I wanted, but I didn't get it. And uh, he said, uh, I said it was like a divorce. And he goes, well, what if she was a woman named Rodeo? So, Dan, if you're out there watching, man, I sure appreciate your perspective. I don't even know if I can play this, actually, like Jake Mears. I don't have all those buttons. It's pretty close. Dear Rodeo, I've been lying if I try to tell you I don't think about you After all the miles and the wild nights that we've been through Lord knows we had a few Dear Rodeo I'd like to say that I took the range and rode away Rest no left on says just turn the page. Oh, but you know better, babe. Between the almost atoms and the broken bones, the dream of a buckle I'll never put on. I'm jaded. Whoa, I hate it. But somehow the highs outweigh the lows, and I'll do it all again. I'd still have to let you go So dear rodeo I try like hell to tell myself It was all your fault I held on tight with all my might I just couldn't hang on That's hard to hang your head Dear Rodeo, 
I'd like to think you'd miss me too But I know you don't Oh, but that don't change the past And that don't change the truth I'm still in love with you Dear Odeo Thank you guys very much for tuning in. We appreciate it. We're coming uh, very close to this thing cutting off anyway. Listen, I can't tell you how much I love my job. I can't tell you uh, how much, how thankful I am that this many people would tune in just to see me and Jody just sit around and pick. Uh, God bless you. I hope you're doing well. I hope that uh, God's keeping his hand on you through this whole thing. And uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in and supporting uh, what we do for a living even in times like this. Uh, thank you very much. See you guys next time. Thanks, guys.